Four six. Hey, I saw a four six. So I've just came from a stream where loads of people have been asking about how I do the damage that I do with my gun. So I thought I'd make a quick video about it. It's a bloody build. These are my mutations. It shouldn't affect it too much. I've had most of those since I started playing the game. Uh, my special is this right now, but that'll change. The real stuff is the gun, which is a bloody suppressed automatic handmade. 15% faster reload, 10% damage while aiming with those mods on. Ignore the health of it. I've got two different loadouts for it. I'm trying to do two different things at the moment. I'm playing between having concentrated fire on, on level 3, and the other one is more commando damage but less accuracy. So I'll insert some video footage around here somewhere of me hitting 4,600, I think it was 4,600 damage today at Harper's Ferry. Uh, at the time, I think it was this loadout. And then since then, I thought I would do a different one with VAT accuracy. So yeah, I got 3, 13, 4, 7, 3, 15 and 11 in my special. And that is how it's specced. And the reason why I chose that is just, I wanted to see if I could do a build that everything had damage on. Or as much as I could be anyway. The rest is just carry weight and things like that. So three instances of level three commando. So three, three, three. Tank killer, so 36 armor and 9% chance to stagger. One concentrated fire just so I could get the headshots. That was, that was a key thing, to get the headshot damage. And that's that section. The rest doesn't, I mean, that doesn't matter. The other thing was tenderizer, so I know for 7% damage for a level 3 card, that's not the greatest, but I just wanted to see what I could do with it. So I went level 3 with that. 7% more. Obviously Nerd Rage for uh, the bloodied build. Oh, another thing I changed as well was Adrenaline. So. I don't know if the time I think I had level 3 adrenaline. I'm pretty sure I did. I decided to change it around. So it was mixing between cover operative 1 and adrenaline 5. And just playing around to see what worked and what didn't. So in the video, you'll see me do a bunch of headshot damage. I always make sure that I crouch when I'm shooting so that I can get the sneak damage because it doesn't seem to do that when... I'm stood up. I just do it out of habit now. When I'm running up to something, getting pretty close, I'll crouch. And that just comes from years of playing esports games. So I make sure I have level 3 sneak on. 75% harder to detect while sneaking. Mix that with um, escape artist. So sneak no longer affects stealth. Sorry, running no longer affects stealth. I sneak to lose enemies. The important ones really are adrenaline. For getting uh, more damage after killing. Cover Operative 3, ranged uh, 2.5 times normal damage. And then Gun Fu, which is one of the newer cards that I've about recently. VAT swaps targets on kill with 10, 20, and 30% damage to your next three targets. That really does stack up, and I really do like that one. Probably the newest addition to my build is this one, Mr. Sandman. As I said earlier, it was a suppressed handmade. So, and obviously mixed in with a sneak at night which I think is when I was at Harper's Ferry doing that damage. 50% sneak attack damage plus. So all of that working together, I try and make builds that everything works together in. In Luck, Serendipity is just normal class where you can start sheens, just go without saying. And then 15% bonus damage with Bloody Mess and they get to explode, which is pretty cool as well. So that was that build at the time. Then later on, at the queen fights, I thought I would go this one, which the only thing you'll see change is concentrate, concentrate fire and glow sight. I took off an instance of commando with three on, replaced it with concentrate fire three, 
And for fast moving stuff or just being able to shoot through walls, it's like a legal aimbot. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, some of the chat through the stream was saying that it's broken right now. It seems to, yeah, I, I would say it is. It's, it's really strong. But yeah, so that's why I ch decided to choose those and giving it a go. The glow sight was just a plus one. The 20% damage to glowing enemies didn't really matter. That's just a bonus. If they're glowing, then great. But if they're not, they're not. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm just experimenting between being more accurate or doing more damage. But either one of those builds, you can't really go wrong. If that's how you want to play and you want to use bloodied specifically. I mean, it would work with any rifle, I guess, but bloodied just does so much more damage. My last build was a junkies, uh, junkies handmade type build, and it just didn't do it. It didn't do it for me. So I had to come back. If you wonder what armor set I'm using with that, it's unyielding uh, with mixed, you know, mixed things like action points, uh, intelligence, I haven't really like perfected that yet, but we'll get there. Uh, the rest of the build was just shielded vault, what, and a vault 51, uh, because I've just come from the double XP weekend, and I thought I was going to do a high intelligence one, which I did. So yeah, nothing else would affect that. I play as a chef, butcher beat, to be specific, and use the Nuka Cola backpack with the grocer's mod on it. And I don't think anything else would affect it as much. I didn't have... So this is no magazines, no bobbleheads to affect the guns. Um, it was just pure gun being bloodied. The special... Where I signed special points. And then the perk cards. And I think that's it. I think nothing else would have affected that. So pretty much anything that isn't a big like end game sort of scorch beast queen or a big item you can you can one shot most things and body shot like what body shot one shot most things as long as you can get in the sneak the sneak damage that you need as well yeah nothing's really difficult it makes the game too easy and a lot of you probably already know this i'm i'm not an expert there's there's always more you can learn about this game and learn it from someone like, a, not a week goes by where I don't learn more about loadouts, how to improve things. So yeah, a lot of knowledge comes from much more clever people than me. I don't claim to be, but this video specifically is for maybe a newer player, or there was a lot of people that have been asking in chat for this. So I thought I needed to make him and get it up on my YouTube. I think that's where we'll finish. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to come by the stream, please do. The link will be in the description. And I'm normally live 6pm GMT, which is 1pm Eastern and Midday Central. So yeah, cheers for watching.